Welcome to the Clutch Tech Support Clutch Installation Lab. This is our 2006 F-150 V6 engine five-speed transmission. Now we've already produced a video that shows how to install this clutch and a complete demonstration of how to burp the master cylinder line off the truck, install it on the truck, it would have no air in it at that time, gravity bleed the slave cylinder, and we get it done with about four ounces of brake fluid. That's really good. But every so often somebody calls tech support and says, man, I installed this master cylinder on this truck. Is there any way I can do it while it's still mounted on the truck? Well, previously no, but our engineering team has added a bleed screw to this master cylinder. And this master cylinder fits about 11 years worth of F-150s from 1997 through 2008. That's a lot of Ford F-150s out there that could benefit from this bleed screw. So now we get to install it on the truck and we're going to gravity bleed the slave cylinder, drain a couple ounces of fluid out, and then come back and open the bleed screw on the master cylinder, gravity bleed the master cylinder, and this truck is ready to drive. Nobody sits in the seat, nobody pushes the pedal. We just gravity bleed the system and get the air bubbles out. Now, why can't you do this by pushing the pedal or some other technique? The challenge is that this master cylinder, the way it's installed and built, the fluid comes in from above, goes in through a hole to the center line of the master cylinder casting, but once that fluid level rises above that little port inside here for the valve, it becomes an air trap or air lock. That air can't come down to go out anymore. When you push on the push rod, the piston does not send all of the fluid and air out of the system. It stops because there's a valve in here and a return spring. So it can't push the fluid all the way out. So that air bubble just compresses and then re-expands when you take the pressure off of it. You tip it, you get it out. But if you're feeding fluid in from above, gravity bleeding, and have a vent hole right here, a bleed screw, you open that up, the fluid comes out, pushes the air out with it, and the system is bled. So let me show you how we can gravity bleed this F-150 and drive it away. Nobody pushes the clutch pedal. Alright, just to give you kind of a view of what we've got, this would be the slave cylinder. It's on the front of this transmission and I've just attached a piece of vinyl tubing to the bleed screw right here. The pressure line is going to be connected right here, which it is right now, and the bleed screw is open. Tubing is going into a catch reservoir that just keeps things nice and neat. So now let's start adding some fluid. All right, the bleed screw is open on the slave cylinder. We bleed the slave cylinder first, just adding fresh dot three or dot four brake fluid, and it's bubbling. Now I've got a piece of clear vinyl tubing here just to help illustrate what's going on as it's filling the system up. This is a free flowing system. This is why this one gravity bleeds so well. It's just going to start supplying fluid through the master cylinder, through the line to the slave cylinder, and it'll push that air bubble out the top of the mask of the slave cylinder. By the way, there's our new bleed screw right there. Tim, we got any fluid coming out down there? We do. Good. Still got a little bubble in this tube up here. It's going to come out. Okay, that's about a half a reservoir to fill the system up. Or the, excuse me. That's about a half a reservoir that it's consumed so far of what I put in. What we're looking for down there is that we've got a nice, steady stream of fluid coming out of the bleed screw through the tube. How's it looking, Tim? Looks good. All right, that's about coming up on one reservoir that's flushed through. Now you may see a steady stream of bubbles coming out down there also, but those, in our experience, has been bubbles coming past the threads on the bleed screw. Tim, that's coming up on two reservoirs in just a second through the system. Why don't you go ahead and start closing the bleed screw. The reservoir is full of fluid. We've already gravity bled the slave cylinder. I cracked the bleed screw already. I've got a piece of tubing on it going to a catch bottle. We're just going to open the bleed screw. 
and there's fluid coming out of the bleed screw with some air bubbles. And again, we're just going to gravity bleed this system and let the fluid just flow through. It's already past about a half a reservoir. I think we're good. Now let's test the system. We should have a nice, crisp clutch pedal. Starts to create pressure right at the top. There's everything put back in place. I took the clear vinyl tubing off and put the correct piece of black tubing back on. That clear vinyl was just so we could watch the fluid for the video. All right, how can you tell that this clutch is really and truly bled? First, the way the pedal feels. That is crisp. It is going to work right away, starting to create pressure. Next, reserve travel. Engine running, push the clutch pedal to the floor, select first gear, bring the clutch pedal up. This truck, we're probably going to have an inch and a half to two inches of reserve travel. Upward motion, movement of the pedal before the clutch starts to pull the truck forward. There's also an inspection plug on the side of the transmission. You can remove the inspection plug, have somebody push the clutch pedal with the engine off, and you can watch the clutch release bearing move towards the engine and release the clutch. If it feels a little bit spongy after this procedure, just give it a few quick jabs. And if there's a little bubble in there, that'll oftentimes flush that last bubble out and you'll be all set. Well, I think you can see that was a pretty simple way to bleed this previously troublesome hydraulic system. Just gravity bleed the slave cylinder, gravity bleed the master cylinder. Nobody is sitting in the seat pumping the pedal. There's no arguing about what to do. And in just minutes, you bring the system right back to a fully bled system. If you have any questions about a clutch hydraulic release system, a clutch, or a flywheel, please go to clutchtechsupport.com, enter our part number, and you'll have links to our bulletins, videos, and our toll-free tech support hotline.